Parece. Just waiting on technology to catch up. Hang on, apparently my quality of video is not very good currently. Let's see if I can fix that. Let's see how that camera angle is. How are we going, guys? Oh, yeah, it went a bit funny on me. <laughs> I'm not in a, like, ha-ha way. There we go. Done a fair bit since the last time I was uh, doing this. This is finishing off the Ghostbusters set. So yeah, <laughs> here it is. It's a pretty small set. Uh, <laughs> it just keeps going and going and going. I've been building it for the last two weeks. <laughs> so I thought I'd share the, uh, the final bit of the build. I'm up to building this last last panel in here in the roof so it's not a huge amount left to do I've just been so busy I've been trying to get through it in my own time how is everybody it's been a while since I did a live stream so uh, I apologize I've been quite busy and had a lot on my mind so I will be trying to fix that I will be doing more builds in the next uh, well, forever haha <laughs> because there's never enough Lego all right has anybody ordered Apocalypse Berg yet? Because I haven't and probably won't for a while. <laughs> you have? Ah, oh, you're a lucky person. Oh, it's absolutely like hands down like my, one of my dream sets. I think that and the roller coaster are on my absolute like favorite Lego set ever that I would like to own one day. I actually have this idea in my head to combine the two things. So uh, we'll do a, uh, to a, an Apocalypse Berg roller coaster. How awesome would that be? Yeah. It is expensive. It's def, but it's like if you look at the the um, part to price ratio on it, it's actually really good. So I mean, it's not as good as Ninjago City, but it's good. You know what? I don't think price to part ratio is the best thing. I think people need to start saying like, well, like someone needs to figure out a formula that's like it's the part to price to weight ratio, rather than. Uh, Rather than just saying it's the price to parts, because it's not fair. Because like you know, you look at this set here, and I've got like you know, a ton of these small blue pieces in here. It's not really a, it's not really a fair uh, part to price comparison. So, just in case anyone's wondering, I'm building. This is the fire escape. I love this detailing on the outside. It's just not as laborious as I was expecting it to be. Um, I was like thinking, oh, that's gonna just get really repetitive, but kudos to the Lego designers. They've actually done it in such a way that it doesn't get monotonous because they've broken up, like you'll build a bit, then you'll do something else, then you build a bit more, then you'll do something else, then you'll finish it. It's really, really well thought out. It's made me happy. I've, I've really enjoyed building this set and if anyone's ever thought about it and has the opportunity to buy it and it's not a ridiculous price, buy it because it's a great, great, great build. It really is enjoyable. 
Having said, uh, watched um, watched M and R's production M and R Productions uh, review of the set, and he um, said the build on that one was phenomenal as well. So fingers crossed, can get it before that. But likely to be. We have tax time in Australia in uh, June or oh, July. So um, I will probably be using my tax return to treat myself to Apocalypse Berg, assuming my tax return is that generous. Hope it is. All right. Uh, hang on, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. I, it's only quarter to 12. I've been absolutely motoring through the build on this. Um, so, but I thought, you know, I will have a like ceremonial um, like finish to it and I'll, I'll share the build with everybody so they can see the final finish set. Because yeah, I'm sure you haven't seen it on a thousand other Lego channels, but you'll see how it was built. That's the main thing. I don't think many people have actually done the build video of it. Um, yeah, so yes, it will be another late night tonight, but not that late. It won't be that late. I've only got what you see here. So I've got these parts here, and there's two more bags. So those parts, those parts over here. There it is. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> okay. Just playing with this, and um, yeah, and then there's bag. Uh, oops, fingers over the lens. I've got bag 14 to do, which is uh, somewhere. I think I've just put it behind my laptop actually, um, which isn't so bad. What I will say though is it's ridiculously hot in Sydney today. I am. I'm going to turn my fan on. Tell me if it's too noisy, but. It is, it's like yesterday I read that uh, here in Australia we got to have um, the top 15 cities on earth, yes, the top 15 hottest cities on earth yesterday were all in Australia. So that's how warm it was yesterday here. Whereas in Arizona I believe it snowed yesterday in the desert which is like something that doesn't happen very often. Anyway, sorry, I'm going off tangent. Lego, 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 Lego. Garlic, just so you know, I've actually been really good this week. And uh, I actually went to bed early last night, which is unheard of. And then I couldn't sleep because it was like not when I'm used to going to, to sleep anymore. <laughs> Uh, so what I've concluded is I need to just stay up late and build Lego every night to actually have a good night's sleep. Seems like a good excuse. Not sure how many people will be around tonight given it's the middle of the week. And it's still a bit early actually. Man, I can't believe you've ordered that set already. I'm, 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 I'm jealous. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. Love it. I love it. It's one of those. I think when um, I don't know if anyone else gets like this with a really good. Um, uh, oh, sorry. On your comment about the weather, yes, yes. But. Um, in fairness, I'm an Englishman who lives in like one of the hottest country, well, the hottest country on earth, or one of the hottest countries on earth. So, I'm also a redhead. Yeah, I'm in like, I'm, you know, I'm a full-on English rose. This is me. This is my pale skin. Like, I'm a full-on English rose still. Um, so you know, <laughs> somehow in my almost 13 years of living here, I've managed to adapt to the conditions, and now I don't really. Uh, don't really get affected by the sun as much as I used to. Funny how that works. Um, 
What was I saying? Oh, the uh, Apocalypse Berg set. Um, it, I don't know if anyone else ever gets like this with a um, when a new set comes out that they're really excited about. But I must have watched. Um, yeah, it's, there's no video on it yet, but I'm, I've I've looked at uh, the photos of the set so so many times, and the same with um, Ninjago City when that came out. I, I've watched the promotional video for that one thousand times um, to the point that where my my eldest daughter actually sort of makes me turn it on sometimes so she can just watch it with me, <laughs> which is cute. Um, I must build that set one day. <laughs> Where am I up to? I've done something a bit out of sequence here, so I'm hoping I didn't miss anything. Bevin! Daryl! I always say Bevin. Daryl. Daryl Bevin. It's like I'm like Greg, but everyone calls me GJ. You're at work, so you'll have to watch my feed later. I'm just finishing Ghostbusters HQ. You know how good that set was to um, to build, so uh, I just thought I'd share the the the, the final couple of bags because I think if I'd actually been streaming the entire build, it would have taken me forever to actually build the set. So, uh, what am I up to? Done that one. Done that one. Done that one. But I was just saying, um, Daryl, the uh, Kudos to the Lego designers for making it such a fun, sort of varied build the whole way through. Like the way they've broken up the monotonous, the monotonous bits like this is is not just a straight build, 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 build. It's build a bit of it, then go and build something else, build a bit more, then build something else. And it looks absolutely fantastic. And I'm willing to bet that you're one of the people that's ordered the Apocalypse Berg set as well, aren't you? Where are you? Oh, no. Found it. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Actually, funny thing, I think my wife might be more obsessed with the weather, and she's Australian from Queensland. And Queensland is hotter than uh, New South Wales, where I live. So, um, it's funny. Everybody says that about the back of this set. If anyone wonders what what um, Daryl's talking about, oh, dropped it. It's this. This is the back of the Ghostbusters HQ. It's it's not the. Uh, it's not the best looking back ever. That is literally how it's finished. So it like needs another layer of bricks on it or something. So um, yeah, agree with you on that one. I actually just rearranged my city tonight to uh, to make the train tracks invade into the um, city space a bit less. But it actually also means that you can see the back of the Ghostbusters HQ a bit more. It's a trade-off though. I'm happy with how it, how it works otherwise. There we go. So, Daryl, um, am I right in, in thinking you're one of the people that's already ordered the Apocalypse Berg set? I'll tell you what, that fan's magic. What have we got? There we go. We're up to. Oh, am I allowed to like sing badly on these streams? Like, do I get a um, copyright infringement for that? Hope not. Flat removable wall, so it wouldn't be a large task. 
Uh, it came out for pre-order today, so um, yeah, it's, it's only like literally today it was available on VIP pre-order. So it's funny how VIP basically means just sign up to the Lego newsletter. Um, yeah, it came out today, so um, yeah, I unfortunately haven't ordered it because I'm absolutely broke at the moment. So uh, I'm still paying off my last few Lego sets. <laughs> And in good news, my Ninjago docks did arrive, so get round to building that one and uh, Ninjago City. But I need my other table before I can do that one because uh, I don't actually have anywhere to put it otherwise. There we go. Did you see this on the camera? Move the camera a bit. There we go. I need to get a proper tripod mount for my phone. There we go. Um, so I can actually like control it a bit more. Because at the moment it's on a, a jury rig Lego stand. Which is fine, apart from I just can't adjust the height or anything very well. There are a few bits when I was building this set where I thought it seemed a bit flimsy. And then like suddenly like after about four more steps it's suddenly like the most solid thing ever you could drive a train through it and it would survive the train probably wouldn't but the building would i've got so many videos to film daryl <laughs> i'm like i Thinking about it at work today going I just like need to try and get a bit ahead on everything. I've got planned at the moment It's just ridiculous some of it's going through some stuff people have asked me to go through and some of it's like new ideas and new stuff to do and I Then have the other problem. Of, I just don't have enough Lego parts ah! I need to order so much from Bricklink and the Lego parts store and buy new sets and various other things. Where are we up to? Uh, another layer of you. Another layer of you. Another layer of you. Da -da 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 -da. The, uh, the one thing with this set is the size of it does make it kind of take over a little bit in my quite limited city space. But I don't care because I've always wanted this set because it's just awesome. And I still think, and even building it, I feel, still stick to what I originally thought that it is one of the best Lego sets ever made, in my opinion. I don't know if anyone else agrees with that, but I think it is. It's just got so many iconic bits. The build of it is just exceptional. The quality of everything that went into it. I watched the designer video on this set the other day and, and like the, the passion the guys put in, like they combined Ghostbusters 1 and 2 movies. <laughs> and you've been collecting it for a bit longer than me. Well, you didn't have a gap from collecting it like me. Um, yeah, watching the designer video on this set where they um, they talk about how they combined uh, bits from Ghostbusters 1 and Ghostbusters 2 because it meant they could detail out the interior a lot more um, and, and be a lot truer to the movies effectively. So that's why there's an arcade machine and stuff like that. One of the designers had designed the arcade machine previously and it was finally an excuse to put it in a set. So um, that's where that came from. How cool is that staircase? I love it. We got anyone new in here? Miss Andy, hello. Do you know, Gallagher, whenever I send anything to my parents, I mark the price down wrongly on it because I think it's disgusting that things like gifts are still stung for ridiculous amounts of tax. 
really bothers me. Like, for like the simplest thing, if I send my 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 mum a nice like Australian souvenir or even just a simple calendar, oh yep, that'll be twenty pounds in tax, please. Annoys me. So uh, you have my absolute sympathies on that tax. Ridiculous. They're um, trying to change the tax rate here for stuff bought overseas as well. and um, But not quite to the extent that the UK tax rate is charged at. It's really quite ridiculous. Hey, I've almost finished this side. How cool. It's just, it just, it looks amazing. I wish I had as many parts as Daryl so I could like build some really cool um, <laughs> build some really cool apartment buildings and things like that like he does. <laughs> See that plug? Jacob! Hello! Uh, it's just like me waffling and talking to answering questions. I was saying how much I love this build. Like if you get a chance to get this set. Actually, I think you said you might have it. But um, if you get a chance to get this set, if you don't have it, highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's like not just the fact that it's like so iconic in terms of the build. I'll show you the, I'll, I'll do a quick, quick look inside. Look at the, uh, how much is in the interior of this set. It just... It is as good as the box looks. Like there's just so much happening. Yeah, Slimer down there with his sausage and a couple of Ghostbusters there. There's Peter up there with Dana. They've got a, some kind of a lab thing going on up here and there's the bathroom with slime all over the floor. I thought it was a really nice touch the way they've got the slime going through it. It's just packed full of details everywhere. If anything, like the ground floor, I think, is probably the most boring part of the whole building. I think like that could actually do with some more stuff in it. So I might have a look at that. I mean, I know it's designed to have the, uh, oh, what have I done, what have I done? I can't shut it. I know it's designed to have the, uh, well, it's designed to have some space for a car, but not quite enough space for a car. There we go. All right, back to building. There we go. How long have I been collecting Lego? Well, actually, recently I've only been collecting for the last like year, or well, not even that, 10 months. I mean, I've been collecting over time that's not true. I have been collecting on and off over the years, but not actually collecting properly, if that makes sense. Um, so, I mean, what I mean by that is I've been uh, buying the occasional set, but sort of more out of interest than anything. I mean, there's a few sets I've bought, like uh, the Volvo Technic um, Excavator. I bought because I, I had a similar set, I can't remember the set number, but I had a very similar set when I was growing up and I, I have very fond memories of it. So I um, I bought that and I it, and it was like everything I hoped, I highly recommend it. I must go through some of my older sets at some point. I've got quite a lot of the um, Force Awakens, actually I think I've got all of the Force Awakens Star Wars sets. No, I can't have all of them. I've got, I think I'm, no, I think I do actually, because I didn't release that many for that one. I seem to recall, because um, I well, I was finally I finally own a Millennium Falcon, which is cool. See you, Jacob. Have a great day. Thank you for dropping by. Oh, I didn't mind the girl Ghostbusters movie um, for the reason that it didn't try to be too serious. Um, and, and I, like, I really love all the actresses that were in it, so, um, I didn't mind it too much. And I, I will say this, the, uh, 
the Ecto One car that came with the uh, that they did for that movie is better in a lot of ways than the classic um, the classic Ecto One. I don't know if you watched my stream or not on that one. I can't remember, but um, that's a great great set. the uh, The build on it again was really really good fun and. Um, I think the car itself looks great. I think they did a really nice job on building that one. Right. This one looks a little bit fiddly. I um, apologize if I haven't been in many streams the last sort of week or so. I've got a lot going on at work at the moment and um, been quite distracted which is why I haven't been uploading as much either so hopefully that's all coming to an end and I can focus a bit more on on, on my passion for Lego as well as my passion for my job so makes sense there we go Ta -da! Balconies! That doesn't look quite right there that's a little bit flimsy I'm not very happy with how that's done but I think it's more symbolic than anything. All right, and then we take a big pile of these. I don't know why it's the fact that I have. Oh, hang on, they're just supposed to go on just now. Oh, I missed two pieces. Yeah. There, there. Now I don't like the fact that I still have. One of those left. I think I've missed a piece somewhere. The question is where? Maybe I haven't. I'm not sure. I, I can't believe I'm supposed to have a spare six flat. That doesn't seem right to me. Unless it goes somewhere on the next step. No, no, I'm going to have to revisit that one and figure out where that came from. Ah, clever. There we go. One. Fire escape. And then that, ah, oh, I see that goes there. Didn't have spare, don't panic anybody. And then that goes on. There, like that. Ta da! And then we have the side of the fire. My good lord, this is a big set. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. Got to do the roof now, but how good is that? It's just lovely. What a fantastic build. There's one thing though, I keep knocking the side off. <laughs> ah, destroying it. Brixenville, how are you? Sorry, I'm building without looking at what's going on here. Flash pants, hello. Who's in here? How are you? Flash pants is there. Brixenville just joined. I, I, you know what? I love that loads of people are joining from work. <laughs> it's so easy to just put on a uh, put on a live stream in the background. Where are we going here? Alright. I accidentally opened this bag by mistake the other day, so I'm gonna. Where did that go? Oh no, I dropped a brick. What was it? Uh... Hoping that wasn't an important piece. Knocking it, but I 
can't find it. <laughs> Oh well. Dropped a piece, hope it wasn't important. There we go. Might have to watch one of uh, one of JC's videos to uh, add some extra details to the roof. Looks a bit um, sparse. Needs more air conditioners and things. Actually, there's like nothing on the roof. <laughs> Do need to get one more thing out of the box though, which is vitally important, and that is. That, need that. There we go, let's angle that down a bit now. Uh. What have we got going on here? Put a roof garden on there. I was actually thinking about um, the scene at the end of uh, Ghostbusters 1 where there's a, a big hole in the roof and all the, um, all the ghosts are escaping. I, I thought about doing that. I'm not going to bother doing that one for the moment. Uh, right, there we go. I thought that could be a lot of fun, and then I thought about how many bricks and things I'd need to do that, and then decided not to do that. <laughs> Let's put this out a bit. There More manageable. Uh, right, what am I doing? Got that one, I've got that one. At this rate, I'll be in bed before one o'clock. Yay! I said I wasn't going to step too late. Where is everybody uh, joining us from? Garligades in the UK. Ninjago Bricks is Philippines? I think. strong I'm doing one extra there I didn't need those two oh no I do need those two that was right do 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 what's next <laughs> I want to get the, um, I want to get the, uh, the Marshmallow Man that came with the Dimension stuff, because it's like minifigure scale. I thought that would be a lot of fun to have in the city. Um, is it you, Brixonville, that's got the, yeah, Brixonville, oh, who was here, who's gone now, he's got, um, he actually has a uh, full-size marshmallow man in his city, I believe. What have I done here? Oh, that shouldn't be there. Like, talking and building, I've put in a few things in the wrong place. It always happens. There we go. Fixed it. Um, yeah, he's got a full-size one. It looks amazing. I don't know if it's his own or it's from a design, but I don't really care because it's just his His city is great. I love it. And um, 
he did a, a recap video recently and uh, where he showed sort of the evolution of his city and it looks superb really good video hey ninjago bricks we'll have none of that sub behavior here please I don't mind you asking people to sub, but don't get aggressive about it, please. I tell everyone to sub my channel, but uh, <laughs> you already sub. Ah, oh, Brixenbury, you're still here. I thought you were working, dude. It looks superb. I love it. I, I, your um, your recap video you did recently was so good. And and it, it gave me hope that my city will one day be awesome. I'm just going to have to... I actually have to realise that it's not something that's going to happen instantly. It's something that happens over time. <laughs> I think I was just being impatient. I actually really want to watch the Ghostbusters movie after uh, Do you have the um, do you have the link Brixenville per chance or the name of the designer who did it? Because uh, if you put it in I'll um, put the link up Assuming you can, because you're at work, obviously. Where are we up to? There's a couple of cool... Um, when I was building this set, there's a couple of colours I really like in, 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 in this. That uh, There's like that milky... What I call a milky green. Which I... I say love. I'm gonna to have to go and buy some bricks in that, and then decide on something to do with it. Because I just think it looks. It's an amazing color. Right. It's starting to look roofy. It's still a bit flimsy there, though. Big old slab of roof. Oh, dropped it. Man, I am a master of dropping pieces tonight. Da -da -da. Actually, I did realise in, in building this set, I finally got a cab driver for my uh, <laughs> for my uh, Marvel superhero bridge taxi. Hooray! <laughs> so he's going to go in that. <laughs> uh, where are we up to? Lots and lots of number eight pieces. Need to do like Ryan at MNR and uh, wear sunglasses. He wears sunglasses whenever he does a build. It's like his signature thing, although I think it might be because it uses a really bright spotlight as well. Right. Half the roof, let's put that there. Let's build the next bit of roof. I should, mate, did you watch my video the other day? You've seen how much space I've got. <laughs> I can't really expand beyond this room unless I punch a hole in a wall. Which I can't because I don't own the house. Yeah, I'll go and check out your video and have a look at it again. I can't remember. I watched that ages ago. I'll go and have a look again. Probably not after this video because I'm going to go to bed because it's late. <laughs> 
and I do have to go to work in the morning and drop my daughter at school and finish doing about 20 other things when I get to work. So I should probably be semi-coherent in the morning. Oh no. Copyright infringement again, I'm humming. No. Daryl, you're still here. Slow day at work? <laughs> oh, it's just my channel's so awesome you had to join in. I think I've missed your last couple of streams now. I'm sorry, I've just been. I'll be perfectly honest, I've been a bit, um, shall we say, stressed slash depressed the last uh, the last week or so. We're at the tail end of, of signing a uh, an investment deal for work, and it's really been quite challenging like mentally so uh, anyway it's not as exciting as they make out in the movies running a startup I can promise you There we go. Given a few of you ultimate power. Do -do 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 -do. Sorry, I'm not interacting with the stream as much as I should because I'm actually just really enjoying building them. I'm going to be sad when I finish. I'm going to have to break it all apart. I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to do a video tomorrow. One of my planned videos tomorrow is making this little guy. I was going to just do a quick tutorial on how that works. But it would be fun to have in, for people to have in their cities. It doesn't take that many parts. I really like that. I remember that was from my uh, 7777 Ideas book, just with a couple of updates and amendments to make it work with the uh, newer Lego pieces. Right, the air conditioning unit is what actually um, there's these two hooks here, so they actually attach to something which is the air conditioning unit on the roof, I believe, which we will sort of see in a minute. It's a pretty big roof. <laughs> ah, yes, there it is. So we've got... I'm now actually running out of space on my table. Let's move you back. 
try not to push you off the table because that would be quite messy. solution. See you Brixenville. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. I do need to go to bed at some point. It's only so long my last cup of coffee can keep me going for. To be honest, this thing's so big it's quite hard to actually show you what I'm doing. So it's more me talking. <laughs> already done that's awesome I love days like that like anybody who's not a parent here it's like when, when you're a parent and you're like you're, you're actually ahead on, on your day it's like it's like the most amazing feeling very rarely happens for me unfortunately but uh, when it does happen it's amazing and my my eldest daughter is now at the point where she actually can help me do some cooking and stuff which makes it a bit easier um, like as in I can involve her in the cooking but um, <laughs> she does get a bit carried away sometimes and you have to take a deep breath and go it's only a mess it's only a mess it can be fixed <laughs> Actually, be on oh no, almost finished. Still got to do. Good lord, that's the roof done. Roof. Trying to sound Australian there. So you've got to remember when you undo it, it's actually attached in about 15 places. The roof, so well, that's going to make that very solid now. There we go. You probably can't see what I just did there, but when you uh, the roof actually goes across like it literally attaches the whole way along all the way along here and then in the middle here these clip into the air conditioning unit clips into these bits here so you can actually undo that and that whole side opens which is actually suddenly quite solid and then you can remove each floor on the way down that's pretty clever like solidly done you can see how that clips in and that's it done almost finished i've got to do the traffic light and the whirly gig pole thing inside so let's do that now because i think that's the next thing reduce my pottage right what's next i'm um who's in here uh, He's only five and coming home with homework. Um, my my eldest is, uh, she's like at that age where she could have been in, um, she could have started school, uh, like kindergarten, it's called here, I can't remember if it's called kindergarten in the UK. But um, we decided to hold her back and let her start kindergarten next year just because she's really been enjoying um preschool that she goes to um like she's just getting so much out of it so um so she doesn't get homework because she's not technically at school I, maybe i should have sent her to school because i don't have to pay for school i have to pay for preschool hmm maybe i didn't think that through properly <laughs> Now I'm going to be intrigued as to whether or not I'm going to like the uh, 
the traffic light design on this set because I've never been overly keen on it and I know a lot of people use that sort of particular design for their street lights in their cities ready Woo! it goes so fast you can't see it um right what am I doing this goes in here this one goes in here Oh, so preschool is called reception there, is it? I, uh, I, I need to get to grips with how the years system works here in Australia, um, seeing as I actually will have to know that at some point. So that's right. Yeah, I'm open for you. Okay, and then that goes on there. Oh. Oh, that was close. Okay, and here we have a pole. Okay, I'm going to open this slide up. Aha, that explains what these holes are for. That one goes in there. Sorry, it's a bit hard for me to show you what I'm doing here. I'm just going to move those parts so I don't use them. Just uh, attaching the... Uh, Ones. There we go. Uh, ooh, that's a fiddly little one. Come on. Come on. Doesn't want to go in the hole. There we go. Still doesn't want to go in the hole. There we go. Got it. Yay. <laughs> hey, it also works if you do that. Uh, there we go. comes down so fast you can't actually see it on the video. <laughs> Where's a Ghostbuster? Let's put a Ghostbuster on there. Oh, actually Dana can come down there. There we go. She's the kind of person that likes to take risks. She is possessed after all. I don't know why being possessed has to do with being a rig there. Ready for this? Down comes Dela. Whee! Right, let's seal that up. And... Ah, right. Traffic light. Let's build the traffic. Is anyone still in here other than Gargade? <laughs> Gone very quiet. Ah, oh, hey, flash pants. Still not sold on this traffic light design. Still not sold on it. Let's turn this round because that's what we're going to be doing next. Right, where are we up to? So we've got that. That goes on there. That goes on there. Hey, Lego Sonny Boy, how are you? I don't. Know, I've I've not been doing as many streams as I, I was lately, just because I've been super busy. So I'm trying to get back into it. Thought I'd share finishing off this awesome set. How good does it look in that from that angle? That's awesome. Yeah, happy with this set. All right, what's next? I do want to watch the Ghostbusters movie again actually, but my kids will want to watch it too and they're both a bit too young. And by that I mean I'd end up being woken up in the night because they're scared of the ghost. Just 
Not far enough that design. Ah. Oh, yeah, I've always been a Ghostbusters fan. Right. For anyone that, that hasn't seen this, this technique, brick separators, they aren't just for bricks. You can also use them for positioning stickers. Now, I used to use a knife for this, but I've been doing it this way, and it's just really easy because I can still pull it up if I need to. And then I can position it just so. Not quite happy with that one. Let's do it again. Brick separators, the Swiss Army knife of Lego building. Uh, if you watched my last city video, I did actually have it placed. But, that being said, I've rearranged that area ever so slightly since that video, so it might move a little bit, but not far. It'll be, probably be on the lower level. I don't know. I don't know if I've got room for it on the upper level. I need to rework it and, and, and make a decision. Because it, it does demand rather a lot of space. What have we got here? You, you go on there. Oh. Do, 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 do. So I'm just concentrating so I don't miss a part on this one. Um, let me finish building it and then I'll put it in the city roughly where it's going to go. Because I um I rearranged the uh, the um, cargo depot a little bit as well uh, today, so I need to order some new um, track. I'm probably going to try um, probably going to try trick bricks um, because I, I'm convinced that their junctions will work wonders saving me some space um, in my sidings because of how they're designed oh that's how lego does it oh there you go now yeah, i know how lego does trash bins i need to redo my trash bins sorry i'm talking to myself at this moment I like that Lego has designed trash bins, but I don't like the design of the trash bins. They're a bit flimsy. Yeah. I reckon there's a better way to design those. There we go. So now we've got the traffic lights and a bin. That's it. That's everything. It's all done. I don't like a couple of those pieces I've got left. Sure, they should have been used for something. Can't see what though. If it's only a roof. Oh, who knows? There must just be spare parts from when I was moving stuff. All right. Hey, <laughs> that is done. That is a big old manual for anyone who didn't see it. Pages did it get to? Page 414 was the last page. Right. Should be uh, getting pretty busy. Right. Let's put it in the city. I'm going to move this traffic light first though, because it's actually in the wrong place for my layout. So let's move it. Before we do anything else, there we go. Right, done, done, and done. 
Alrighty. Now this is like a live stream. I've never done it this, so if this goes horribly wrong, don't be surprised. Can you see that? Need to lift that up a tiny bit. How's that looking? Yeah, so this is like my lower, the lower level of my city. Yeah, now I've done the, the raised area. And it's literally gonna go. Now this is live TV, so there's a fairly good chance I will drop this now. Because uh, that's what seems to happen when you do live streams. But um, we'll go right there at the moment. Although probably I won't leave it there because it's a bit big. I'll probably do uh, yeah I rearranged this earlier on so I can actually run road brakes all the way up to the, the train tracks now without an issue so what I'll probably do is move this to actually be up against the train tracks like that so I've still got like a whole area I can build in here should be almost perfectly that plate. Oh, no. Gotta move it ever so slightly. But that's how that's gonna work. So <laughs> anyway, that's how it works. Maybe not quite up to the uh, next to the train tracks, I don't know, might maybe bring it back this way one so it's so this is one full plate that way, and then that probably works quite well actually. Maybe we'll do that. But for right now, it's going there. Just, that's where the space is. Next to, we've got JC down here from Small Brick City. So there's the uh, the awesome Ecto one. I love that, great build. If anyone's considered that set, um, and you see it, get it. It's a good set. Recommended. Um, awesome. Right. Should probably stop now. We are there. It's done. It's built. Wow. What an awesome, awesome set. Cowie, hey, how are you? Joined just as I'm about to wrap up. I need to do one of um, need to do one of Kaz's guess the spare parts. Although, I don't have any of the, uh, the ghosts up. Let's put a ghost on. Where's one of these ghosts? How do they work? Oh, can turn that off now. Okay. Um, how do these work? Hang on, just playing with something. Spooky ghost! The theory is you take these plates off and then you can put one of these off and then you can put the ghost on there like that if you want to. My uh, my eldest daughter actually took one of the ghosts and built a trap for it the other day so uh, I'll get her to share a video on that one. Right on there. there we go. Hey we've got a ghost. There's a librarian as well she can go on the top. What a great set. Anyway. <laughs> yes, God, Gade, God. Mumming me. No, you're right. I need to go to bed. You're absolutely right. I should. What time is it? I don't know what time it is. Oh, 20 to, 20 to 1. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Right. Thank you, everybody that has joined this stream. There we go. We'll do one. Can you see my face? No, not right enough. There we go. Yeah. Right. Thank you everyone that joined me for this. Um, love it. Very happy with that set. Thank you for joining me and making the final bit of the build entertaining. Have a great day, uh, everybody. Computer's down there, that's where I'm looking. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks for supporting my channel. And I will see you in another video very soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you.